Have you ever seen a creature so strange that you can't believe it really exists? Yet nature is full of weird and wonderful surprises, and just when we think we've seen it all, another unusual animal crawls out to shock us. In fact, some of these creatures are so bizarre that it makes us question everything we know about life itself, from sinister spaghetti worms that can control your mind to real-life giant squids with 30-foot tentacles, these are the 15 abnormally strange animals that actually exist. These sea slugs are pelagic. They float upside down by using the surface tension of the water to stay up. Rare Albino Cobra This super rare snake was discovered by farmers in a field in Vietnam. Believed to be a giant cobra, this pale white serpent has an extremely rare mutation called leucism. In this shocking video footage, the men find a marshy patch of land with dozens of snake holes, and after some fishing around in the tunnel to see what they can uncover, this massive mutant snake crawls out of the ground. We don't think anybody was expecting that. Albino animals have red or pink eyes due to the lack of pigment in their bodies, but this unusual reptile appears to have deep brown eyes, leading experts to believe the snake has leucism and not albinism as first suspected. Either way, this snake is truly terrifying. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? The Binturong this abnormally strange creature has the face of a cat and the body of a bear. Yeah, we're of course talking about the Binturong, a bizarre animal that dwells in the treetops of Southeast Asia. Also known as bear cats, these elusive critters are rarely seen in the wild, and their feet hardly ever touch the ground preferring to hang out in the forest canopy. They can be easily recognized from their unique white whiskers and a prehensile tail as long as its body. It uses this elongated tail to grab onto branches and help it climb through the trees. But the weirdest thing about this peculiar looking creature has to be its scent. Yeah, Binturongs have an extremely unusual smell that's more often associated with movie theaters than wild animals. That's because these shaggy bear cats actually smell like freshly made popcorn. How delicious. <laughs> the Blue Dragon This brightly colored ocean creature truly is one of a kind. The mesmerizing blue dragon is a sea slug that looks as though it belongs in a cartoon. At just one inch long, this hermaphroditic sea creature may be small and cute, but they actually have a very deadly trick up their bright blue tendrils. Yet the Glaucus atlanticus is actually a highly venomous predator that can paralyze their prey with one sting. Sure, they may look elegant as they effortlessly glide through the water, but don't get it twisted, the blue sea dragon is a ruthless and extremely dangerous creature. This sinister sea monster gives slugs a bad name. They're so deadly, in fact, that they'll actually hunt down the super venomous Portuguese man-o-war jellyfish, one of the biggest killers in the ocean. Yeah, these dangerous jellies have finally met their match. The blue sea dragon is actually immune to their sting and can even store the jellyfish venom and process it into something much more potent to use on their prey. That's right, this sea slug is actually stealing other predators' poison. Let's face it, these things are evil geniuses. <laughs> The Gigantic Weta These enormous crickets are mind-blowingly massive. Yet the Gigantic Weta is the heaviest insect on the planet and weighs a whopping 2.5 ounces. These bugs have got junk in their trunk. They can be found on Little Barrier Island in New Zealand, but many exotic animal owners have taken to keeping them as pets. These rare insects are also known as Dinocrita, which translates to Terrible Grasshopper. Okay, it's a pretty harsh nickname. But there's no denying that these giant bugs are pretty terrifying. The Maori people took the insect's name from the word Wetapunga, which actually means god of ugly things. Wow, these critters can't catch a break. Still, these ancient bugs have been through a lot, and we're sure a few mean words won't bother them too much. The giant weta has been around for 190 million years, and they aren't going anywhere. Yet yeah, they may be ugly, but they're true survivors. So, what do you guys make of this grotesque-looking giant bug? Would you keep one as a pet, or would you run and hide? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. <laughs> Satanic Leaf-Tailed Gecko This diabolical lizard has developed an ingenious way of hunting its prey. The Satanic Leaf-Tailed Gecko is one of the most adept camouflage artists in the whole animal kingdom and is able to blend in perfectly with leaves on the forest floor. Merging into the vegetation, this cold-blooded creature can pounce on its victim without them even knowing what's hit them. The Leaf-Tailed Gecko will sneak up on crickets, spiders, and cockroaches disguised as a harmless leaf. Hey, nobody said that nature was fair. Famous for its flat tail that would fool most humans, 
This gecko also sports green patches all over its torso that looks exactly like a moss, and as if that wasn't enough, this Madagascan master of disguise also possesses a fringe along the edge of its body, allowing it to conceal its silhouette amongst the foliage. So this little trickster clearly has the skills to bamboozle its prey, but what about predators that want to chow down on this leafy lizard? Well, the satanic leaf-tailed gecko has a solution for that too. When threatened, it'll open its jaws wide to unleash the horror of its bright red mouth and scream at the top of its lungs. Oh, okay, now we see where it gets its devilish name from. <laughs> The black heron. One of the most voracious predators on the planet isn't a big cat or even a venomous spider. It's this menacing bird who uses a seriously twisted method to hunt its prey. Yet we're talking about the black heron, a long-legged raptor that lurks in the wetlands of sub-Saharan Africa and Madagascar. This intimidating bird feasts on a diet of poor, innocent fish who have no idea of the fate that awaits them when they cross the black heron's path. This avian attacker engages in a hunting behavior known as canopy feeding and essentially traps its victims in a watery grave. How does it work? The giant bird uses its large wings as a kind of umbrella, holding them over its head to cast a dark shadow over the water. This cool, shaded patch of water attracts groups of fish desperate to escape the sweltering heat of the African sun, and the bird equivalent of ordering online groceries. Why go shopping for food when you can get your food to come to you? The shade even allows the black heron to see its unsuspecting prey more clearly, like wearing sunglasses on a really sunny day. What makes this sneaky technique even more sinister is that herons will often gather in large groups to create even more shade, and thus catch even more fish. As many as 100 black herons have been observed in giant fishing parties, using their wings as deadly umbrellas. Now that's what we call shady behavior. <laughs> Tongue-eating isopod, get ready for the most disgusting animal you've ever seen. The Simothoa exigua, also known as the tongue-eating isopod, is a tiny parasite that loves nothing more than to eat the organs of their host. How rude! At just 8 millimeters long, the creepy creature crawls inside the gills of their victim and chows down on their tongue before settling in to become its replacement. That's right, if it wasn't already bad enough that the isopod ate your tongue, it's also going to move into your mouth permanently. Just think of it as the worst house guest ever. The Simothoa usually targets the red snapper fish, attaching themselves to their tongue and sucking all the blood out. Yuck! It may sound gross to us, but for the tongue-eating isopod, there's nothing more delicious. Once the organ has officially wasted away, the parasite remains in place, living and breeding inside the red snapper's mouth. It survives by eating the leftover food between the fish's teeth, and there's nothing that the poor fish can do about it. Yeah, this isopod definitely wins the award for being the grossest parasite of all time. That's just nasty. <laughs> Bird Dung Crab Spider why would anything want to look like a pile of poop? Well, for the bird dung crab spider, resembling excretion is a means of survival. Yet nobody wants to come anywhere near this eight-leg nightmare, and that's exactly the way the crab spider likes it. Its awful smell and revolting appearance means that predators stay well away, while flies and insects will approach the spider in anticipation of a tasty poo-poo platter. That's when this awful arachnid strikes. Whatever happened to using a regular old web to catch your prey? Speaking of webs, even their silk looks slimy, giving it the appearance of a random splash of bird poop. As far as camouflages go, this one is pretty disgusting. Still, you have to give the bird dung crab spider credit. This weird spider is a master of disguise. Yet yeah, this may be an extreme length to go, but hey, whatever works. <laughs> Giant Shipworm Okay, this has got to be one of the weirdest creatures we've ever seen. This aquatic animal might look like an alien, but they actually live right here on planet Earth. The giant shipworm has been documented since the 18th century, but scientists didn't lay eyes on one of these disturbing creatures until very recently. That's because they live inside a hard white shell that's often compared to a baseball bat and can reach 5 feet long. This weird shell is made of calcium carbonate and contains a creepy, slimy worm that's bound to give you nightmares. Researchers found a rare specimen in the depths of the Philippines and were able to reveal the contents of this mysterious shell for the first time ever. And we've got to say, we kind of wish they hadn't. Giant shipworms belong to the mollusks family alongside mussels, oysters, and scallops, and they feed off wood that's submerged under the water. They're also known as termites of the sea thanks to their habit of nibbling through wooden piers and ships. We don't know about you, but we'd be quite happy to never see this gross creature ever again. Horsehair worms 
Get ready for some real life creepy pasta. Yeah, this ultra spooky worm looks like a strand of limp spaghetti, except there's nothing delicious about the horsehair worm. Reaching over two feet long and measuring less than an inch in diameter, these frightening worms have a deadly superpower that allows them to control their victims. Found in streams, puddles, and pools, these aquatic monsters infect their hosts and take over their minds. Yet mind control is totally real. And the horsehair worm uses this sinister ability in order to survive. They target insects like crickets and grasshoppers, living inside their bodies and boosting chemicals in their victims' brains in order to confuse and disorientate them. Basically, the grasshopper will walk aimlessly in circles until it reaches a body of water, at which point the horsehair worm takes over and throws its host into the water to drown itself. Wow. That's cold-blooded. The devious worm then bursts out of its carcass and starts the whole process again. Yet sometimes nature really is horrifying. <laughs> Invisible Cuttlefish blink and you'll miss this super sneaky cephalopod. The cuttlefish is incredibly adept in blending in with its deep sea surroundings and can switch colors at will in order to camouflage with its environment. What makes this incredible ability even more remarkable is that they're actually colorblind and can't even see what shade it is they should be changing into. Wow, now that's some skills. Scientists believe that cuttlefish are able to detect blurred reflections under the water and this is enough information for them to transform into any color of the rainbow. Pretty amazing, right? Now you see it, now you don't. Ooh, oh, oh, oh cookie cutter shark. This abnormal sea monster might be tiny, but it's brutal. The cookie cutter shark does exactly what it sounds like. It cuts out small circular chunks of flesh from its victims. They have the largest teeth of any shark relative to their body size, and rather than killing their prey, they'll simply dine and dash. At just 22 inches long, this strange shark won't be winning any underwater fights, but it does have speed and super sharp teeth on its side. They've even been known to try and gobble up ships and submarines too. Another bizarre snack that the cookie cutter shark likes to chomp on is their own teeth. Yet these insatiable sharks will actually devour and digest the fangs that they shed in order to gain valuable calcium. Anything the cookie cutter won't eat. Found in both the Pacific and the Atlantic Ocean, these sinister sharks have been spotted swimming as close to 300 feet below the surface in order to grab a bite to eat. Let's just hope they don't develop a taste for people. Don't want to become a human cookie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pelican spiders. Pelican spiders, also known as assassin spiders, are not only famous for being extremely strange in appearance, but also for being one of the only species of spiders that feast upon other spiders. Growing to just 8 millimeters in length, these freaky arachnids live in Madagascar, South Africa, and Australia, and are considered to be living fossils. Having existed on this planet for around 165 million years, these ancient spiders can be recognized by their strange body shape and long necks that have often been compared to the profile file of a pelican. They have distinct, highly specialized mouths that allow them to prey on their fellow spider brethren and are by far one of the most nightmare-inducing species of spiders we've ever seen. Interestingly, the pelican spider was once thought to be extinct until researchers rediscovered them in the wild. Wow, talk about wishful thinking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh. Ghost pipefish. These odd-looking fish are closely related to seahorses, but we've never seen anything quite like the ghost pipefish. Belonging to the Solenostomus genus, these tiny sea creatures are found on coral reefs from the Red Sea to the Indo-Pacific Ocean. Masters of disguise, these peculiar fish can camouflage themselves to blend in amongst the reef, and even the way they move allows them to disappear completely among the swaying marine vegetation. We bet that these little guys always win a game of hide-and-seek with a ridiculously long snout and supersized fins, the ghost pipefish is definitely one strange looking sea creature. <laughs> The Magna Pena Squid. And now it's time for our final, most abnormally strange animal that actually exists. That's right, it's the super creepy Magna Pena Squid, also known as a big fin squid. This haunting sea creature lives approximately 8,000 feet deep and is rarely ever seen by human eyes. That is, until this oil drilling rig managed to capture the sea monster live on camera. This eerie squid was spotted in the Gulf of Mexico, no doubt scaring the life out of anyone who was monitoring the feed at the time. Its floaty tentacles reach a whopping 30 feet in length and are positioned at an incredibly unusual angle that makes it look as though the Magna Pena actually has elbows. This ultra-rare giant squid has even been compared to the Slender Man, a mythical entity straight out of a horror film. Yeah, we can see the resemblance. This massive squid is truly petrifying. Remind us to never go diving in the Gulf of Mexico. Mother Nature will never cease to amaze us. These creatures might look like they belong on an alien planet but all of them actually exist right here on Earth. 
But which one of these crazy critters is your favorite? You can let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. You can also hit subscribe for more awesome Missing Files content. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Mm-hmm.